Hello everyone. Today, we have a very interesting topic on how you could generate from a spreadsheet a nice analytical user interface, and that too, all for free. First, we're going to the demo, then we'll talk about their product, we'll talk about the other options that are there, as well as the pros and cons. But first, please like, subscribe, and share the channel. Drop in a comment for any questions you ran into. Also, subscribe to our newsletter for any updates that you require. Let's go into the demo and show how you could have a nice GUI generated from a spreadsheet. Sometimes we need to share with our analysts or finance team a quick tool that they can demonstrate. This is a, like a sample spreadsheet which has the customer name, region, city, customer size, satisfaction. And I would want to generate some nice chats out of the spreadsheet because just reading through it is very onerous, something very difficult to do. So I would want a tool that can generate using the spreadsheet generator or nice graphical interface, something I can share with my customers or with my team as well. So let's check out that tools and how to go about generating a nice way from the spreadsheet. The tool we're going to use is Oracle Apex, and this is an Oracle Cloud infrastructure. Something you will need to go about setting an account. It doesn't cost you anything. It'll just take a credit card. But once you have your account, then you can come into this portal and come to developer services and select Apex instances and click create Apex service. Leave the default name, leave the default compartment, but just enable this always free. Always free sources will be created, be it compute, be it the database, or be it the storage. You won't be charged anything, so you can generate a nice GUI. Then choose the database version. We'll just go with the latest and greatest, which is 23 AI. Advanced options you want, you could just check it out for your information, but nothing to do. The username is the default admin and put a password. Let it be from secure access from any everywhere because this is a internet facing web application there. If you want to have to share with our users, send and have an email so that this is something required. If you want, you could send a customer contact as well for them to be able to log in and administer advanced options. For now, just leave it as default. But ideally, you would want to have a customer managed key in this tenancy or in a different tenancy, you could choose that. Maintenance options you want, you could choose regular intervals. The tools you can see, this is I've enabled Oracle AppX, enabled the web access, data base access, access is also enabled. Security attributes you want, you can check it out. This is, you can apply this package, something we will not get into for this demo. So with this, hit create. It does take a few minutes too for it to be created. And this is where you see the status is provisioning, the color is orange. And once it is provisioned, which should take another two to three minutes, their status will change to provisioned and the color will change to green. While this has been creating, you could see the cost. The instance type is free. If you want, you could upgrade instance, but that is not applicable now. The compute data is included. There will be no charge for CPU. Again, something free that you can look into. There is no auto scaling because again, this is a free tier. You don't get auto scaling here. Storage is free as well. So for a simple use case, this could be a nice free to use tool. Okay, so now the instance is created. You could see the instance ID over here, the YC, which is which is Argo Cloud Infrastructure ID, the compartment, the database name. As you could see, computers included, storage, and everything is free. Now click this launch Apex button. And we will need to create our workspace, provide the password that you had provided when spinning up the infrastructure, and create the workspace. Choose new schema here and give a workspace name. I'll just give YT demo, give a username, give password, and hit create workspace. Once your workspace is created, come back here. You could hit launch Apex and provide your workspace name, provide your admin username and password. Hit sign in. And now you will see this interface. So click on the app order and click create a new app, create app from a file and will import the CSV that I had shown earlier and load it. So choose the file. And now my customer sales data is being imported. You could do a preview. You see the fields that I had shown earlier. You could click this button, do a preview. For now, we'll just leave it default and hit load data. Some error has occurred. Table name must have value. I'll put customer sales data. It'll just put everything in caps. And now do load data. What it's doing is it imported all these distros. And now 
hit create application. This is where it will create the GUI for you. It will do all the necessary charting, the graphs that should be created, the different pages. And people who are familiar with Website Builder, you could go and check out our product as well, cloudmessite.com. Always there, you could see the Website Builder or you could have in WordPress for hosting. But similar to that, you will see these pages created the dashboard, customer sales data. So there are these other applications. So you could check them. You see very intuitive, very simple. Just three or four clicks I had to do with next to no cost and create application. The image is creating report and form page and creating the web interface based on the spreadsheet that I imported. Now your application is ready. Hit run application to see the GUI. Give you a username that you had created, which was admin in my case. You have the password that you had provided and hit sign in. You could see the dashboard. So you see nice intuitive interface where you get nice view. You could share this URL. You could front it with another proper domain. Check out crowdmysite.com where you can get domains for a lower cost and without any obligation as but you could do domain mapping here at the charting. You could double click on it and get the data. So all this feature you would have had to pay in Tableau or any other perks such as Spotfire, but here. It is all free. You could have this data, share it with your CPA, your analytics, or even your sales team. You could do a create. You can create further entries and update without going into the spreadsheet, but that boring interface. You can check out the dashboard, come back here, the customer sales data search and sales data report. And like WordPress, you can click administration. You can choose these different options. You could have the dashboard. You, you could create the top users, admin, whoever has been logging and checking the reports out page views, if any user feedback that you want to manage, and you can have the access control. This is role-based access control so that any authenticated user can access the applications and the roles that should be there. So demo is done. Let's go and talk a little more about OCI Apex. Oracle Apex is a low-code application platform for Oracle database, specifically it uses Oracle database only. It has Oracle transaction processing, autonomous data warehouse, and these are all fully managed services that are pre-integrated and pre-configured with Apex for rapidly building and deploying modern data-driven applications in Oracle Cloud. Business users, citizens, and application developers can create these enterprise applications. As you see, it is so much more faster. If you had to do using React or even say using a WordPress, it is so much more simpler doing it using Oracle Apex. And you didn't have to learn any new technology. All you had to do was import a spreadsheet and voila your application is up and running. So to get started, you had to just decide on the service and be able to just go and create the data. So this is what makes it low code or minimal hand coding. And it is next to no code. In fact, I didn't even have to write a single line of code, but there can be a lot of scenarios. If you are integrating with a third party database, it does support Postgres. So what are the pros? You saw very simple to generate the web interface and have the analytical UI components. The free tier, it's as good as free, just, but just keep an eye out on the billing in case the free tier has expired and you are getting charged. And using API, you can query other data sources such as PostgreSQL. You can also integrate with other OWASP tools such as Okta. Drop in a comment if you want for the information on that or would like to see your demo. Cons. As you see, it is a black box. Only Oracle database is supported. Do you want to get any exposure to the code? So porting out of Oracle Cloud. It's going to be something time consuming, but when the free tier is done, that time if you have to pay, it can be a little more expensive. But if you have to pay a developer to do all these beautiful charts for you, it'll be a way more costly than using Apex. It is Oracle proprietary. You are unable to port to other platforms. And let's have a comparison now with how does this tool compare with what are the options in other clouds. Diagram show how the Oracle Apex compares with Azure Power Apps. GCP app sheet, AWS Honeycode, as well as Mendix, a popular low-code, no-code solution for SQL integration, authentication security, and web UI builder, Oracle Apex is at par. But for mobile support and enterprise duty, that is where Oracle Apex may fall short. Gartner has recommended Oracle Apex as a low-code, no-code, but in the Challenger quadrant. So there are four quadrants in Gartner. Second is the challenger. Apex is not in the leader quadrant, which is where you want to evaluate when choosing a product, especially for your enterprises. This was the end of the demo. 
and hope you were able to quickly understand Apex and are able to use it. Drop in a comment about your experience has been and how you can go about creating beautiful, lovely charts in your application. With this, have a good day and thank you for liking, subscribing and sharing these videos and subscribe to a newsletter as well. Uh, share you share the product cloudmysite.com. It's a no gimmicks hosting platform, 100% on cloud that will provide you extra high availability and better performance. Thank you and have a good day.